Day three of the road trip has begun. Packing up the bags over here. Oh yeah, so trying different techniques now because as you can see, we have a lot of bags right here. I I'm worrying that <laughs> once we hit like the national parks and all the like bumpy dirt roads, mm. it might just break off. And if that happens, then we're screwed. Malada coffee, it's $1.25, which is probably the cheapest you found in Batambang. And they also do bakeries nearby, 20 cents. Andrea's just tying up the bikes. Carolina just tying up some hair. Road trip hair, yeah? Yeah, yeah, road trip. Ready to hit the road. Map set up. It's pretty DIY, Mario. Hey man, I love your bike. What is this for living? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe, man. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> Cambodia. We started off in Siem Reap and visited Batambang afterwards. But now we're looking forward to get out of the cities and into the countryside to see more of rural Cambodia. So far the road has been pretty decent, but we're heading towards a wildlife sanctuary called Nam Samkos. It's home to a tiny village called Pumi Pramoy. So we're expecting the roads to get worse as the day goes on. This is the road now guys. It's changing getting worse but yeah. it's getting more adventurous basically the road trip begins now sorry guys about the not very good sound quality when we're vlogging on the bike uh, the trails on toast we don't have the fancy mic gear to go with our gopro we're just working with what we've got we just stopped at this uh restaurant because i really need the toilet we're selling some like roadside snack i actually think it's snails or like tiny shells Look at this, it's like, looks like what you find at the beach or something. And it's covered in like chili. And they just leave it out here in the sun. I guess people just drive past and buy some as a snack. Mario's just flying the drone over there, but his food's just arrived and look what he's ordered. It looks like a clay pot, hot pot noodle soup. And it was 6,000, right? So $1.50. Yeah. I just go fly the drone for a minute and Oliver's already digging into my food, God damn it. Oh. Is it good? You're gonna love this. Mm. It looks like you're loving this more than anything. It tastes like... It just tastes like baked beans and sausage from the can. Why don't you get In one? I won't eat the whole thing. I'll just eat some of this. Oh, mate. This is so good. I think it it's really Cambodian. tastes like homemade, right? Mm -hmm. It tastes like kind of wow. western, like what you would make at home. Yeah, well, cabbage mm. I think yeah. from that smoked sausage. This was my favorite soup here in Cambodia, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So damn good. It's probably because like this processed sausage has that extra chemical that makes it taste so much better. <laughs> the MSG. We're not man. talking about health, talking about the flavors and damn they were good. fresh air and the views and seeing the friendly faces but road trips always have their ups and downs and this up was coming to an end i was enjoying this so much uh-oh we didn't expect this <laughs> this is where it gets fun i was like it's actually not far now but now with these roads it's gonna take us a little while <laughs> whoa it's sliding oh God, oh God, oh God. it's literally sliding a little bit it's like sand the best thing to do on a road like this is just follow exactly where the local in front of you drives because those guys know the roads. That's if you can catch up because we have literally like 200 kilo kilos on us right now. It's pretty fast as well. Danger zone, the, the, the danger zone. Highway to the oh, danger zone. zone. I'm holding on to the bag so I'm really Highway worried the bag rack is not going to last. To the danger zone. The map is kind of messing up a bit. We're not really sure which way it's supposed to be going. There's two roads here. The map is being weird. Is it? Yeah, it's taking me this way now. It's telling me to turn around. Okay. And it's not giving me centered position. How's your back? Like, is it very wobbly? It's bouncing a lot. Um, that's why I'm like holding on like this. Because yeah. I'm scared the Same. rack is going to break. While we're trying to figure out which way we're supposed to be going, we're going to take the opportunity to do a little photo shoot because we haven't taken pictures all of us with our bikes yet for Instagram or whatever so we thought this is the best position Mario's asking for directions 
So we went the wrong way, we have to drive back. Luckily we didn't drive too far along this road. Imagine if we drove 60 kilometers the wrong way on this shit. That would be, that would be horrible. So we're gonna drive back that way, maybe buy some water in the village because we haven't got any water on us, which is really dumb when we're doing long drives in the country. So the path is gonna be nice and look where we're turning. Apparently we're gonna go here for 61 kilometers. Damn. So it's gonna be Damn. fun. Damn. Man, this is gonna be an absolute mission. Look at this road. It's literally, I don't even know if you can see on the GoPro how it goes like this. It's like up and down. Someone's beeping at us and telling us to turn Maybe around some, or something. Really? I don't know. Bumi Pramoy. Uh, so maybe maybe you can look. You cannot. Maybe it's just farmland or something down this way. So this guy just chased us to tell us. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. A -kun, a -kun, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Otherwise, it would be like a roller coaster for however long. Forty kilometers around. Thank you. So nice. Yeah, he saved our asses. He's an angel. Let's try again. Hopefully, third time lucky. And the road begins. Oh my god. Oh, look at these birds. Look how low they're flying. What? Look at that. Yeah, it's like swiftlets. Yeah, swiftlets. a bit of civilization but it's literally a village in the middle of freaking nowhere and they spray the water on the roads like this to stop the dust yeah that's nice thank you lady so this is the situation yeah. in Cambodia some makeup <laughs> so this man has just yes. given us some free snacks this is here? Yeah. Okay, so this is like tamarind paste. Genial. They have a similar thing in Laos actually. There's barely any head. You definitely eat the head of this boy. What do you think? Mmm. It's a freshly locally caught fish. Yeah. It's really good. You can eat that with all the bones. It's Spicy? Soft. No. It tastes fresh. I really enjoyed it. No? Mm. The fish itself is amazing. It's very um, Just like, um, <laughs> intense. Similar to oh. what we had in in Malaysia. Yeah. Should I do it? Do it. That's a lot of sauce. Yeah. <laughs> you can eat the tail. You can eat everything. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm. I like it. I like it. It's really good. It yeah. tastes like durian mixed yeah. with asam pedas mixed okay. with chili and a little bit sweet so we did order fried rice with chicken but they give us rice with fried chicken and fried egg but i mean it's close enough right yeah yeah it's good google translate isn't perfect Akun. Akun. and it's two dollars this comes with a sauce i just threw it on top i don't know if that's what you do but it smells like oranges and pepper it's really good i've never smelt a sauce like that before are you hungry no, not really. No. I might have a little bite. I just had a soup about one hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess there's not much else to this do on a road trip. This road trip is just going to be like eating, driving, eating, eating driving. driving. The best part about road trip is going to some random village with limited menus. Boom, getting some local food. Trying new things. Mmm. Mmm, the egg is really good. It's like double fried. A wild Mario ate my food. The very rare and endangered species. But they're oh, oh, still oh, oh, oh. around. Right, back on the road, under 40 kilometers left, which is nothing really. And then 
we're gonna rest for the day but yeah, yeah so far so good at Come least on. we're on the right road it feels way colder because of the climate up in the mountains yeah. or it feels a bit frisky i'm pretty cold <laughs> okay let's go we could tell we were getting closer to our destination because the views were getting better and better the mountains looked breathtaking and we were so happy to be on the road just taking it all in Little did we know that there was another big obstacle coming our way. Hello. There's a river crossing. Oh, mate, are you ready for this? No way. Can't go through that. Oh man. That bike won't make it through there. <laughs> I don't know if it will. Girls need to get off. Okay. Maybe even if they take off the bag. But it's really deep, like you're gonna ruin the exactly. engine. Exactly, you need to get off the bike. But you can go the other way. Just look at the map. It says military restricted area. We're having to cross this mad river right here and the bikes aren't the best. Uh, this is like, it's gonna challenge us if we're gonna continue this road trip or not. I'm thinking, shall I take my shoes off, man? And uh, Watch out, out, man, there's like rocks. Stones, you know? I mean, are you bothered to get your shoes wet? Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. Be careful. Oh, hey, not that fast, not that fast, not that fast. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. He's gone for his race. He did it. Woo! Woo! Slowly, slowly. Maybe once you are there, you can. I'm worried about the smoke coming out from the bar. Oh, my God. Well, we have the easy job. We can just walk. It's so cold! <laughs> this is what you call backpacking, man. Into the wild. Backpacking, baby! We managed. There ain't no obstacles for travels and toast and us on Earth. <laughs> Shall we go again, bro? <laughs> is the bike working? Yeah, yeah it okay? seems fine, yeah. We only have a few more kilometers left to our destination, which is like a hostel or guest house. Last review was like three years ago, so we're not even sure if this place even exists anymore. So we might even need to camp tonight. You ready for it? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Guy beeped for us. But I mean, look at where we are, guys. Like the surroundings of this place. You can't be unhappy. We don't really see a lot of mountains in Cambodia, and this yeah. is like, feels like a different land. Like, yeah. looks next level. So that's Off. the road that was closed. That's why we had to drive around that through that water crossing. There's some road construction there. I think it must be this way. The is map, the, is the map it's not now like the siding. I think it's that way. I mean, yeah, where it else? Is. It is, no, right. it's, it's working now. Yeah, five, nine minutes. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Yeah. That one there, the green one. We're not sure if this is the place. Hello. No. We're going to see how much a room is for the night here. I'm not sure if this, if this is the place that we had on the map, but yeah, it looks all right. How much? No, no cold, no cold. Ten dollars. We're here. We have a room. Yeah, finally. We managed to get here. You know, we need to dry out our shoes as soon as possible. They're all soaking wet. It's like a double uh, bedroom, and there's like the other room is the exact same size, except there's a single bed, and they both are like ten dollars each. But I mean, at this point, we're like, yeah, whatever. After crossing this river, we're like, dude, we just need to dry ourselves out and maybe just chill out for a bit because it's been quite a long day for us. Yeah. So. Oh wow, they have swings. Oh. Yeah, I have a bunch of hammocks. They're probably chilled here there tonight. Put the some only, speaker on. The only issue is there's no shower in our room. Oh really? Yeah. Where, where's the shower? There's no shower. How you co how come there's no shower? Let's go check it. Ah. Uh. I see, you just use like a bucket, but that's okay. In fact, I feel bucket is much more effective than the shower, so I think we'll be alright. So we've just been chilling after that long drive. It's actually really, really cold up here in the mountains. Even though we're not even that far up in the mountains, it feels freezing out here. And that's a problem because we're actually trying to dry our shoes, you can't see in the dark. We're actually trying to dry our shoes because they're soaking wet from crossing that river. So you have to stuff cardboard in them like this. Mario taught me this little hack. It's the hack, just make sure you swap it in like two yeah. hours because it'll suck 
suck all the But they're not really drying because it's so cold, so that's not great. But hopefully they'll be dry for tomorrow for wherever we go next. But now we're off to get some food. Getting some local delicacies out here in the village, somewhere in the mountains. Don't even know the name of the place. What was the name? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. We don't know where we are, town. basically. And but the food looks amazing, to be honest. Yeah. We have all kinds of like choices. We found a barbecue lovely. stall. We're going to get some sausage, some chicken over there, and some fish. I feel like I want everything from here. Everything looks so damn good. Yeah, they also have like these, whoa, massive pots of curries, which also look really good. Kind of reminds me of Laos, the food a little bit. Same kind of barbecue stuff that you can get. But it looks good, so we're going to try it. Pickled. Pickled? Is it Very good? strong. Let's try. Do you want it or not? Oh. Really strong. Kind of good, but really I'm spicy. I'm not going to eat it. Oh. How come? Ooh. Smashing out some fish, some chicken, some sausages, vegetables, uh, fried rice and all that. Literally, we are sorted here in the village. So probably just going to have a quiet one. Mm.